Hey, you guys, I am back again with another message from the Lord. This particular message, God wants me to talk about um, the law. As I was doing an errand, God showed me clearly the word the law on the back of someone's license plate. And I was just like, okay, what are you saying? And then God had dropped in my spirit some scriptures that talked about the law and things of that nature. And then God not too long showed me the number 946. Um, and I looked it up in the strong concordance and it means idolatry. And I'm like, okay, God, what you are saying, but he's tying it all together. So pretty much he wants me to go and read second Chronicles chapter six, verse 16. Um, I'm going to start. That's the key scripture. I'm going to start at verse 14. And this is the prayer that Solomon had prayed to God. Okay. And I'm going to read it. And it, and it reads, he prayed, Oh Lord God of Israel, there is no God like you in all heaven and earth. You kept your covenant and showing your unfailing love to all who walk before you in wholehearted devotion. You kept your promise to your servant, David, my father. You made that promise with your own mouth, with your own hands. You have fulfilled it today. And now, O oh Lord, or oh God of Israel, carry out the additional promise you made to your servant, David, my father. For you said to him, if your descendants guard their behavior and faithfully follow my laws as you have done, one of them will always sit on the throne of Israel. Now, O oh Lord, God of Israel, fulfill the promise to your servant, David. God wants me to say to his children, because like a lot of you guys are entering into a place of milk and honey. God has me in the book of Deuteronomy, remember? And a lot of you guys are entering into a place of milk and honey. But God is saying, as long as you keep my laws, as long as you wholeheartedly, devotedly keep my laws, um, as long as your descendants... Um, guard their behavior and faithfully keep my laws that you that someone from your family your generation will always remain on the throne like y'all will always remain on the throne y'all will always be favored so what god is saying here is as like i said as long as you are keeping and abiding by his law you will always have favor a lot of god's children you are entering to a place where from being struggling poverty to prosperity and you're going to remain there it's not just going to be for a season but what's going to keep you there is you always abiding by god's laws all right and that's why a lot of god's children he has used you as a person to break the generational curses because if someone else is seeing you do it they're going to follow behind you they're going to follow pursuit and they're going to follow behind you and they're going to do the same things that you're doing so they can remain on the throne because god has called a lot of his children to be leaders to be high priests okay things of that nature in this season in this hour and whenever god sets you up he sets you up for a lifetime right it's up to us whether we remain in that position or not and god is saying as long as you keep my laws as long as you obey my commands you will remain there and your descendants will remain there as long as they keep my command as long as they keep my laws y'all and that's it but you're gonna have to keep god's commands you are gonna have to keep god's um laws god showed me the number of nine four six right nine four six in the strong concordance relates to idolatry as long as you don't make the things that god bless you with your god as long as you don't go off and start serving unfamiliar guys guys that you never served before as long as you don't um let your own way of doing things your own mindset become idolatry become in the way the way of thinking that you feel like it's right that might not necessarily be right when it comes to god and his standards as long as you don't make those things put those things above God and make those things walk into the spirit of idolatry, you will remain on the throne. And God has been dealing with me a lot about idolatry. And that's why God has been telling me in the book of Deuteronomy, like, and telling me to tell his children, wherever you get blessed, don't forget about him. Whenever you get blessed, don't go back to serving other guys or go back to doing things that were idolatry or do new things. That's idolatry that you might be introduced to, or people might try to introduce you to things because, he wants you to remain on the throne. He's trying to break generational curses through you. He wants to build generational wealth through you, through your generation. And God is saying that in order for you to remain on the throne, in order for you to be in a royal place, you have to keep his law. You have to keep his commands. And it spoke about that, and, uh, and it spoke about that in the book of Deuteronomy a lot about making sure God's children, the Israelites, was keeping His commands, making sure they weren't straying away and being disobedient um, when it comes to doing things that was outside the will of God. 
Y'all, God is saying to keep his law. A lot of God's children, like I said, are going from poverty to prosperity. David was a shepherd boy. And he went from being a shepherd boy to being a king. Y'all, that's a major shift. He went from working in a field. Being a shepherd boy. To ruling a whole kingdom. And God is trying to do that in this season, in this hour for his children. And he wants them to remain there. But the only way you're going to remain there, if you keep God's laws, if you keep God's command, if you always keep God first. Right? God said, God told me to put in previous word. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness shall be added unto you. You still got to seek God once you get to this place. You still got to keep his law once you get to that place. You can't forget about God. Because it's sure when you get to that place and you forget about God, he will strip you. And a lot of people don't realize that. They get upset and they be like, well, I thought God promised me this. I thought God promised me that. And sometimes we have to do a self-evaluation. Well, God, what the have I did to where I sin against you, to where, I, where I'm being stripped? Some of us, we can go through Job moments. But this is not going to be a Job moment. This is going to be a moment where you had did something out of God and dis did, something, did something towards God out of disobedience. Don't be disobedient when God bless you to this place of skip, get you to this place of royalty. Get you to this place of being on the throne. Because God is elevating a lot of his children in this season, in this hour. And God is using this as a warning, y'all. Because I'm seeing a lot of God's children that he has ordained to be um, elevated and to be into a place of royalty. But when they got there, they got big-headed. When they got there, they forgot about God. When they got there, it was all about the cars, the clothes, the trips bragging and boasting um it, it was no longer humbleness it was no longer meekness it was no longer humility they forgot about god they forgot about god's laws and once they got there they got outside the will of god because they wanted to do things in their own strength instead of doing things by god god way in his strength by his law by his commands and now in this season in this hour we're seeing a lot of them being stripped so that's why God wants me to come and tell his children, make sure you are obeying his laws and his commands. Because if not, you will end up like these people. You will end up like some of these people that are going through rap and warfare during this season, during this hour. And you don't want to do that. Okay, I promise you, you don't want to do that. Because for some of them, they are being publicly humiliated. For some of them, they're being publicly embarrassed because how they made a mockery of God. So keep God's law. Keep God's command so you can remain in the place of, so you can remain on his throne. All right. Again, those scriptures were Second Chronicles chapter 16 verses, I'm sorry, Second Chronicles chapter 6 verses 14 through 17. Go read that for yourself. All right. So I love you guys. I pray that you all have an amazing day and I will chat with you all later.